Disclaimer. Welcome to Charlene's Vision. I am a seer that reads terror and reads palm. Palmistry. My readings can be super detailed, intense, even come out as rude and harsh. What I see and what you need to know may not be something you want to hear. Please be advised. If you are not ready for that, please do not book any readings with me or subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome to Charlene's Vision. I'm Charlene, your seer. So this reading is, what do people think when they stare at you? Why do people stare at you, I should say? Why Why do people stare at you, my collective? Okay, so we're gonna find this out. I pull a total of seven cards. I pull the Knight of Cups. Which, let me move the green screen so that, oh, I can't right now. <laughs> the Knight of Cups. Hopefully you guys can see the Nine of Cups. This is the Nine of Cups. The Knight of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. The Queen of Pinnacles. The Hangman. The Seven of Wands, and then the Hierophant. It's just unicorns. Okay. So, what I got with the Nine of Cups, the reason why people stare at you, my collective, is your style. So about your fashion style, it um, it makes you stand out. It, you have some type of style that's different. It's unique. Not everyone wear the same type of clothes that you wear or wear it in that way. But you do something that um, you bring to your to your aesthetic, your style that most people don't recognize or see often or um, even think to put together in that way but you have a keen eye in style so, so about the fashion industry um, you may be interested in that or you just like to the style yourself you just like to look good so you may be my person that loves to shop a lot okay but even if you don't like to shop you just know how to wear clothes you know how to style your clothes if it's something about your style that wants people to mimic you so you have a nice style okay so that's the first one nine of cups of why people stare at you the other one is the Knight of Wands. This one was very interesting to see and what I saw. Um, people are surprised by you. Like, one moment they think a certain way about you, right? Then all of a sudden, one day you just switch switched up the, the role. Like, you just changed something up. And they're like, wait, wait a minute, I thought you was this. How did you get from here to there that quickly? And so something about you transform quickly or you do things very quickly. But it's something about um, you, I was getting you yourself, you change. Like, people can, like, meet you, like, a year ago and, you know, they may know you about a year ago, but the next year, you're a to totally different person. Let's just say you just started to do yoga this year right the next year you're gonna be flying airplanes like people are like wait what how did you get from um, learning how to do yoga to fly an airplane like, people are surprised by you like what you do what you take interest in and how much you change as a person like something about you um specifically not just what you do but what who you are like how like they thought they knew you but people don't know you so that's what i'm getting is like people are surprised by certain things that you bring out about yourself they thought they knew you but they don't okay because you always surprise people you always bring something else to the table okay you always, um, like you bring something to the table, you always shatter their perception of you. People thought they knew you, even people from your past, even family, even your own mother, or your own father. People that birthed you, people that raised you, they realized that they never knew you. There's something about you, like it's like you have different layers to you, like an onion, um, that you may have kept hidden, locked away, and all of a sudden one day you say not anymore, and you just start to show all of you, or short, start to like show little by little, and all of a sudden you just came out f f fully bloomed in the 
just like, well, I'm here. And everybody's like, wait, that was you the whole time? Because if we would have known that, we would have treated you differently. Mm. So I'm I'm getting that you guys may have had a rough upbringing or a rough childhood or people may have you know treated you wrong, uh, mistreated you, um, may have bullied you, picked on you, something like that. But something about a glow up one. But this is more than a glow up. I'm getting it was more of like people just never knew you like people thought they knew you until they saw you and you start to like show many things about yourself that surprised people i'm like literally i literally got the picture of like the cartoon eyes where the eyes is like bulging out their um socket when they see someone like a, a chocolate cartoon character that's what i was seeing like people like are literally like this surprise mouth open like what that that was you the whole time like why why didn't you show that person before like we could have been this and it was a good reason why um i feel like everything happened for the reason for you my collective because if they would have known who you were the whole time you would see how they would have treated you they would have treated you nice with some respect but they would have been authentic now that you they knew you and your, your past you and where you wasn't you know the person that you are like the real you okay let me go back now that you have shown people who you really are the same people regret what they did to you in the past right and now they can't change they, they can't come to you and try to like be your friend or they try to get a business you know partnership they can't do that because you knew they knew you when you wasn't nothing they thought you were nothing but they soon realized that you were bigger than them and then they realized oh damn i messed that up i can't even come back in i already know she ain't gonna like me or he ain't gonna like me after what i did because if i would have known that person was like that like she would have been part of our crew like you see people is like realizing that they really messed up things with you my collective they really feel that like they they're like damn like this person is not gonna mess with me after what i've done to this person uh, something like along those lines the wheel of fortune i was getting okay you guys give me one second because i totally forgot what i saw with this one uh, i'm gonna be honest with you with the wheel of fortune Real fortune. Why do my why do people stare at my collective? Okay, you point out what's wrong. Like you you're not afraid to speak your mind, your mind and your you speak, okay? You call out bullshit, you call out people. Um you're not afraid to be the only one calling out things even if it's amongst a crowd, even if you only have even if no one shares your idea, your belief, your opinions, whatever, you do not care. You will call someone out with no apologies. Like people admire that about you and they watch you. They wish that they could be that blunt and that courageous, especially if it's like in a work type of feel, like corporate, um, I was getting some type of corporate job if you work in a corporate job or some type of career field where many people don't speak up for themselves you speak up you, you speak up you know it's like something about you you challenge authority <laughs> you challenge authority it's something about you're not meant to be under like working under someone that's not where you're supposed to be you are mightier than that you're above that and you know that's what i'm getting like the person that i'm seeing is much mightier much um have more power than anyone like, you have more power to even work for uh, someone like that someone of authority it's something about you are an authority figure yourself so it doesn't make sense for you to work under someone um you're meant to lead that's what i'm getting with the real fortune you're meant to lead you're not meant to go where other people go and like do how they do it you're meant to do it your way and i see that you stand out you're very unique you're different you're independent with the nine of cups nine of wands and the world fortune 
But again, people like that you challenge authority. You speak your mind. You're not afraid to speak how you feel. You're not afraid to call out when something's wrong, especially in the workplace. You're not afraid to do that. Okay, so, but again, you, this may have, but I don't really think, if it got you in trouble, you don't care. Okay, I feel like you stand what you believe in and you speak your truth and you will not apologize for that. You will always speak your truth. Part two. But yeah, this is part two. But it's all going to be in the same video. But anywho, yes, people like how truthful you are, how blunt you could be, and um, how you stand up for yourself, and you just challenge authority. You're not afraid to speak your mind whatsoever. Doesn't matter who it is. So you're not a scary person. You're not, you don't see yourself as less than anyone else. You just... You treat people how you want to be treated. You demand respect. Or it's like your energy, it commands it. You don't even have to say anything, to be honest. It's like you walk. You you don't just talk the talk. You walk it, okay? So, with the Queen of Pentacles, hopefully you guys can see it. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles, uh, I'm seeing that not only do you guys like speak your truth and you stand up for yourself, you're not afraid to challenge authority. People see that you have options. You have choices. Like, it comes to you have multiple skills multiple talents multiple career fields multiple jobs these are um, my collector this is for you some of you guys who may have more than one job okay but there's something about you can do more than one thing you're not a one hit wonder okay you have many wonders to you you have many facets to you you have many things to bring to the table okay like there's something about you, you have multiple things multiple skills multiple conditions multiple qualifications okay so people envy that though I was getting a lot of envy um, on why they stare at you because of what you um because you have options because you're not a one-hit wonder you're not a one-hit pony okay you don't have one trick if you're like a magician you have most like many 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 tricks or many many different talents it's not even that it's like people feel like you constantly people feel like you make things up as you go and it works for you so about you make things up as you go and it works for you like you can make it's something i think what i'm getting is something in the creative field though but it's just people feel like you can make anything go like this is say a company hire you to create a jingle a very good jingle for a product that they coming out with you can sell the fuck out of any product you can create any type of jingle you can make any type of music it's going to be a hit so about it's going to it's going to stick it's like people want to know how do you do it how do you know what's going to be a hit so you may be a musician or a musical artist or something like that but i'm getting something about people want to know how, how do you know mixing that with that was going to be like phenomenal how do you like you could be an alchemist too or a mechanist um um i mean some type of scientist um was it a chemical or a chemist okay a chemist um medicinal medicine or something like that um i'm not think i'm saying it right but it's something about you know how to mix things and it creates something new so you know how to create a new form a new way a new wave a new way of doing things a new thing a new product it's not the same form or same original it is something that you can do that people don't have that talent or skill you have it and people envy that okay uh, something about you can change shit up to you change things um people don't people like people may make you feel unwanted um when it comes to certain spaces um they don't want you to walk in their doors because they know if you walk in their doors you're going to change everything up it's going to go your way your way in the highway people, people don't like how things go your way they hate that uh something about envy i'm getting a lot of envy with the queen of pinnacles like people don't like how things go your way because they feel like it's unfair for someone to have that much magnitude that much depth into them like i'm 
what I'm getting from my collective is so you are a main character energy like seriously like you have what people want people people want what you have like they want to know why you have all these things like why you were like the chosen one to have that like why wasn't they chosen like is there something wrong with them is there something about people comparing themselves a lot to you people want to know what makes you so different compared to them uh, people can see how different you are and they want to know why you're so different like why are you so peculiar why do you stand out why do you know all these things why do you have these um different facets to you where do you come from like where's your upbringing who do you know uh it's people want to know who you know who you connected with um it's just a lot of things that i'm getting with this card and i don't know why i'm still stuck on this card so let's go to the next card that i pull for you uh which is the ham the hangman this is what I was getting. The hand, uh, little beetle, the hangman grabbed the beetle with his mouth and used the beetle to cut the, cut the snake, um, which the snake is like representing like some type of rope that's like hanging him. Okay, um, I, I, in this case, it's a bird. But what I'm getting is people want to know how do you get yourself out of sticky situations, challenging situations, um, struggle. It could be struggle, um, and you always triumph. You always be the victor. You always conquer. You always Always, you always be the winner you always come out unscathed something about that word unscathed untouched uh, they want to know why you of all people all person why are you constantly getting away with things why do you get away with things why do people cherish you why do people protect you why do people care about you why do people want to know who you are people want are curious about you with the hangman they not only are they curious they, they also want to know what is your secret what is what are you doing behind the scene are you doing something dark people want to know how because if they were put in that situation compared to you they will be broken down and they were put in that situation compared to you they will have been hurt broken um, intimidated so about people again compare themselves with the Queen of Pentacles and the Hangman they compare themselves to you of your experience one um, of your upbringing like these people see that okay they may have more than you they may have have a better upbringing than you but you you like surpass all these people who had a better environment had a better education had a family like a good structure and they still are the same spot but for you you came from a very royal environment uh, urban um, environment uh, something that was traumatic to you but you you propel it propel you it, it made you better it made you superior it made you elite it made you bigger than everything people want to know how someone like you coming from so, that type of background that type of experience surpassing everybody people don't understand how where you were let's just say last year like like i was saying with the um you surprised people with the nine of wands like people like thought they knew you they thought you were nothing right with the little fortune people like people from your past and they soon realized like no like they see it now like whoa like it's like you you break down statistics like they could be a statistic when it comes to your race your culture your gender or something along those lines or your experience like if someone were to experience uh, a whole bunch of trauma you people would label that person a traumatic person they will like obviously have some type of side effects to it like maybe a drug at it maybe uh, something always happened to those who are traumatized consistently right they often have some type of side effect right some type of uh, uh, defect to them no offense to those who experience a lot of trauma but i'm just saying like people have this perception like oh if you experience all that trauma let's just say you get raped multiple times you get raped constantly you got raped by 100 people right that's going to do something to someone's psyche that's going to do some, that's going to mess someone up but for you people feel like that's it's like people want to know with the hangman how can someone go through all that and not and still be sane and still be not only sane but you're surpassing everybody that had a healthy life <laughs> people want to know how the fuck did a traumatized tear like people want to know your upbringing does, it doesn't make any sense you make 
the uh, like, something that doesn't make any sense. Like you perplex people. Like you, like you, like people just don't understand. Like how can you? Like there's a statistic to your kind, to you, my collective. There's literally a statistic. Like if you go through this, then most likely you're gonna be this. But you surpass all that. Like you break it down. You destroy people's perception, people's box, people's uh, analogy. It's something about you. It's like you. People think that they know things until they meet you. So about you just destroy people's, it's like you're like a blind spot that people didn't see coming. They don't understand you. <laughs> okay, you guys. So the last two cards that I pulled, it was a total of seven, uh, was the seven of wands and the higher front. Okay. With the seven of wands, um, people stare at you. Okay. They, they, they want to know something. Uh, there's something about you always get the heads up or some type of warning about something. Let's just say the stock market. Let's just say you invest in the stock market, right? But somehow you, you, you know when to pull out you know when to not invest in a certain stock but even if that stock is very popular everybody's investing in that stock or everybody's investing in Bitcoin or whatever or something like that you know not to invest in it you know not to put all your money in one basket you know not to do something ahead of time it's like you're, you're warned or you know what's good and what's not a good area a good spot but like I was getting more so like you're being like you always have a heads up let's just say <laughs> let's just say um let's just say you wanted to go to the gas station to put gas in your car but somehow some reason you have this intuitive nudge or this feeling like oh not to go to a particular gas station because that gas station is about to get robbed okay and someone's going to die like you you have some type of warning but the depiction i got was like you were living somewhere right and somehow like you rushed home like one day you rush home and packed up everything very quickly it even could have been uh, throughout the night you pack up your that soon as you got that warning you was on go you pack up everything and you hit it the next, the next day it's on the news that that whole wherever you was living at the neighborhood the community whatever got blown to pieces and you knew like you, it's like you have some type of warning ahead of time um when you're in danger or when um something bad's about to occur people want to know how do you um know like how uh, like how you do it i just feel like you have a very powerful intuition or you may be one of my psychics my tarot readers um those who are my seers or so who have a very power powerful intuition you listen to it okay you're not afraid to listen to your intuition you don't second guess it you don't doubt it so you get that warning that feeling you listen and you dip okay and you do what you need to do necessary so that's what i got with the seven of wands with the higher font this one i got something oh okay <laughs> okay i'm singing and now i have a song that's stuck in my head that i've written um you got the power you must be stopped you got the power you must be stopped um yeah that's a song coming in the near future okay anyways <laughs> But what I got is about again people feel like you have too much like people stare at you they, they feel like you have too much you it's like you always it's like people feel like you always get things and you always get what you want that's what I got it's something about the keys too like people feel like you have the I got the keys keys to the on the Beyonce song keys to the kingdom like you have the keys you have the authority you can tell like it's just, I don't know it's like you have some type of authority presence to you or it's like your energy like people can feel it and sense that about you like it's something about leadership as well you may be an Aries or a Leo I was getting um, a lot in your reading uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries um, or Leo it's Sagittarius that's another one I was getting too but I was mostly getting Aries, Leo 
offer up with your reading um and, and when it comes to the getting things what you want I, I got taurus and capricorn okay most definitely but yeah people envy what you have and how much you 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 gain for yourself okay with the hierophant people envy you so people stare at you out of envy out of curiosity out of know they want to know um wanting to know more about you um wanting to know why you're either chose or why you're so different why you stand out or why you're so um unique in a way people stare at you for your talents and your skills i got that with the queen of pentacles and the um knight of cups with your fashion or like some of your style people just envy your whole entire existence they stare at you because of envy curiosity and wanting to be nosy you, you catch people's interest you stand out like a main character okay that is why people stare at you that is your reading okay you guys um, i'm gonna see you guys next time i'm gonna try to upload um a reading for you guys every day uh, i'm gonna try to do my lives tuesday and thursday that will be the new date of when i do my question lives um i don't know you guys i'm gonna switch up the live okay i feel like we do a lot of question lives so i want you guys to comment down below like what type of live readings you guys want me to do um i love doing question lives we could do that like at least once a week but i want to do like live readings for you guys but like not just question lives okay so write down like down in the comment section please you know give me your thoughts on what type of readings you guys want to have and let's do that for the, um the live but i will do um upload readings for you guys every day that's my goal um, i'm gonna stick to it knock on wood um so yeah and you guys my readings are open like personal readings are open so if you want to book with me you may do so i will have my email in the description box i also have an amazon list wish list wish <laughs> i have an amazon wish list you guys which is um filled with different tarot decks that i would like to have for the channel you guys so i can like channel for you guys and do your readings for you guys uh you guys know i'm a seer and i read the image and the artwork so I see it I guess but um yeah so if you guys want to purchase a, a tarot deck on my Amazon wish list you may do so uh, it's down in the description box please subscribe um, share my videos so that you know people can know about my channel uh, spread the word you can say hey this is Seer and she's pretty accurate she's pretty good go subscribe to her channel you know tell people about me word of mouth come on you guys uh, <laughs> um but um yeah comment down below about what you guys would like to see um with our lives so here's the thing every thursday we're going to do the question live readings and tuesday we can do live readings but let's do a freestyle live reading like something that you guys want to see more on my channel okay so you have to write it down in the comment section so i know <laughs> okay see you guys next time like my video so it can spread and like it can boost my channel up like it I mean it. All right, bye.